This is a HeadGum Original. It sounds faint. Or is that just my head? What? It sounds faint. Oh, it sounds normal. I wonder if it's just my head. Daniel. Thursday, May 11th. Um... WJ strike is in full effect. This is, uh, we batch recorded an episode. We did one this morning. Um, I'm still kind of in a bad mood, just to be honest, so you guys know where I'm coming from. Uh, every week we've been trying to, sorry. (laughs) I can sip on the show. It's not a stoppable offense. I know. I just, I'm going to have to edit that out. I like fully heard that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're checking in on the WGA strike. It sort of halted Hollywood. But because we're batch recording, we're not going to really get a check in for week three. So what do you guys think will have happened then? I think that we're going to see some repeating signs. Yeah, that's good. Everyone's a sign gonna... repeater? Yeah. It's like an outfit repeater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then second most important, I guess we should, uh, introduce Erica. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, I don't know your last name. Otherwise I would have said both. It's okay. It doesn't matter. It does. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Holy shit. Uh, That's do you want to correct? What's yeah. that? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I guess your sophomore appearance, Alec Bergman, Alec <laughs> Alec Berg on the show. No, Alex Berg. Bergman on the show. Um, You're just renaming everyone. Well, Alec Berg is the creator of Silicon Valley, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it me. doesn't matter. That what? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? You're like a millionaire. I know. Uh, <laughs> Erica, this is your first time on the show. Do you want to introduce yourself to the audience? What do you do at Headgum or anything else you want them to know? Yeah. So my last name is Jensen. Nice. Just putting it out there. Erica Jensen. Yes. That sounds like an animated character. Really? Not really. <laughs> And then I do ad ops for the West Coast. For Gumball or Headgum? I guess Headgum, both, yeah. All right. Um, Gumball. Very cool. (laughs) And you said you live in in the Valley. Where in the Valley? I don't know where that is. It's okay. That doesn't matter either. (laughs) Okay, cool. And I'll bleep that out, I guess. Um, You answered like that. I mean, Uh, this is going out to like, what, 50,000 people? uh, Really? Yeah. (laughs) 20? Mm. Doubtful. Not even. Not even. I thought it was like 30,000. Don't we sell the ads at 30,000? Yeah, but those numbers are fudged. It's probably close to 2,900 people listening, and then we sell it for 30, 40K. Which ends up being pennies on the dollar. Exactly. Erica knows all about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I don't see a dime of that. I get paid hourly. Yes, exactly. Get- we pay you up front, so it's low risk, but low reward. A stipend. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You said stipend with the same, like, intonation as, like, new parents say diaper. <laughs> where it's like they don't want to change a diaper because they're, it's their first time having a kid. You get this. No. Oh, yeah, it's Jake that's having a kid. Um, where is the little Fokker? Do you think, well, by this time, next Friday, he'll have been born. She'll have been born. I think so, yeah. 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 And if not, then we've got a real problem on our hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to cut that out. Uh... <laughs> We've got a lot to get to. Everyone seems very nervous. Even Amir. Mm-mm. What the hell was that? <laughs> My headphones don't work. Yeah, I feel like I can't hear I know. things yeah. normally. Yeah. Meaning? Like the headphones are not actually amplifying yeah. our microphones. It's just dampening what we can hear. Okay. IRL. What about the sound effects? I, I can hear the sound he- effects. Yeah. Right. I took my headphones off because I couldn't even hear the sound effects. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. You seem upset. Mm-mm. All right. Um, we're doing this new setup again where um, I'm behind the boards just because I can live edit, uh, which makes it easier for me. And also, uh, HeadGum refuses to give us a producer for the show, uh, other than Anya, who's a supervising producer, so she handles emails and scheduling, etc. But they don't seem to want to pair this show with a in-studio producer, right? Someone who can be on the boards, who can make sure everything is working, ride the levels, uh, do the live edit. And uh, I don't appreciate it. So here I am behind the boards. Uh, and I think that people enjoyed last week's episode. So I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Bond of the Week. Uh, every week we put up a fucking casting option for 007. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. This week my pick is Dylan Brosnan. So instead of James Bond, it's James's Spawn. Mm. Yeah. Who's Heaven? Dylan Brosnan? He's uh, <laughs> Pierce's son. son. Oh, his hot son. Yeah. How old is he? What's that? How old is He's he? He's my age. I went to school with him. You went to Dylan really? Bronson's school? I went to USC with him. Mm. And uh, there was a day, there was a night that we were out downtown with some friends at the Ace Hotel. Mm. Pretty awesome. And uh, at least at the time. And I see Dylan. And so I'm like, holy shit. I know that guy from class. I don't even think at this point I knew that he was like a famous person's son. So I go up to him. And I'm like, Dylan, bunch of you SCA people are over there. Like, you should come have a drink with us because he was alone. Uh, and then it turned out he was on a date. His date walked up, and I was like, "Oh, oh, never mind." And he was kind of an asshole to me about it. Mm. Interesting. Sounds yeah. like you were just being really nice. I was. Inclusive. He might not have been able to hear me because he didn't end up uh, looking me in the eye, and I was like forty feet away. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. <laughs> this is so Probably fucked it. up. <laughs> this is a mere second episode, so he kind of expended all his energy on the first one. You're not even trying, first of mm. all. You're mad I, that you had to have half a salad. <laughs> <laughs> we were scheduled to record at one. Sure. Our lunch got here at one. Absolutely. So the decision was made, do we eat now or just think about the food You made the record. Decision. Right. right. The so decision I thought, was which was kind of smart, to sure. eat half of it before the record Absolutely. for about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then... So we're satiated for mm-hmm. the actual episode. But it's but said you're like lethargic full. for the full episode. But now we're, yeah, digesting. Yes, yeah. exactly. Which is why I thought half was a good compromise. So I'm not like fully in yeah. this post-food coma world. Do you want to digest eat? No, I don't want to digest eat. If I'm using I a do. LaCroix. Do you want a Campari? What can you offer me? We have Campari. That's all we have. Right here? Uh, in the office, yeah. No, I'm good. <laughs> 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 um... We've got a lot to get to. Uh, we already talked to, well, we, we talked about the w, WGA strike. All we got projecting to next week is that Allie thinks that people are going to be sign repeaters, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. A great prediction. Erica, what do you got? Honestly, I have no idea about the whole thing. Like, I know about it, but <laughs> yeah. like, I couldn't give you much to talk about with yeah. it. And would you say that the question I just asked was good for content? Or, sure. Really? You think it was? I mean, I don't know anything <laughs> about it. I don't know. I don't He's fucking shocked. care. What's that? No, I didn't say. <laughs> <sighs> um, Erica, you, you said you went to school in Vegas. You're going to Vegas tonight. Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoa, is that true? Yeah. Just for fun? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. How often do you go to Vegas? I go. I used to go a lot, like every few weeks. Mm-hmm. And then um, now it's like once a month or so. I mean, I go a lot. Yeah, for, once a month is pretty solid. Yeah. Southwest. I've never been. No, I'm driving. Got it. But sometimes I'll fly. I don't like flying I, yeah. in the summer. It's The turbulence is so bad. Well, mm-hmm. you didn't mean the airline. You just meant like that's the general region. Where I the meant the airline. <laughs> You've never been to Vegas? I've, ne- <laughs> I've never been to Vegas. Really? really? It shows. Wait, no, you said. It definitely shows. It's for the best. Yeah, like you don't, I don't think you'd be able to handle what Vegas has to offer. What do you mean? It's the same as any other town. There's just like more clubs. It's like, yeah, yeah, well, it's not really that. There's er- more Erica casino. can tell you she's sort of a Vegas yeah. connoisseur, but that <laughs> that city would chew you up and spit you out. Yeah. Right. You don't know me at all, but why do you think you'd chew me up? <laughs> well, it's just like all clubbing, drinking, gambling, it's pretty partying. All stuff you don't like. Yeah, exactly. Those are like, all things ex- I don't like. Expensive I the, dinners, buffets. Well, I like a buffet. Yeah. I like it, an expensive buffet. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and I like a Cirque du Soleil. After they have that there. there. It's yeah. too. It's scary for me. Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the Continue, the, please. Cirque du Soleil is scary. I'm. Ter- it's too risky. The acts, mm. the tricks. Oh, you're like you're. Oh, uh, you're nervous. That fall down. I, I sit there the entire time waiting for someone to get hurt, and then I'm at the wow. show where something terrible happened. And- <laughs> I have to, and then I was there, and then I have that memory. It's too much for me. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do like a not even thought exercise, but straight up acting exercise. So you're in the. (laughs) Sorry. She just said okay. Yeah. Um, I'm still picking up on the fact that Alex and Amir wish they could have finished their lunch in peace. Um, You're at Cirque du Soleil. Sure. You're in the audience. Okay. 
they're doing their high flying, high fatuden accidents, high yeah. fatuden accidents. Sorry. My hands started Act. sweating. Oh my yes. god! Okay, so so let's say you and a, we're at company retreat next year is in Vegas. That's you guys fine. are sat next to each other. How do you both react? Here we go. Three, two, one, action. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Can I stop you right there? Yeah. yeah. You're already you're doing too much because Why? like you don't want to be like whoa, you know, during like the a crowd is you know, into it. Yeah. No, it's I like feel a performance. Like Amir would actually do that though in the right? crowd. <laughs> Yeah, so, but that's not a good thing. Like, absolutely correct, but that's not a good thing. I think it's fun to, like, engage with the show and, like, feel yeah. almost like you're overcome with the... Joy, yeah. Yeah, or the need to, like, exclaim. Yeah. Some, so Clap. S- someone's stand, gonna fall, cheer. and then it'll be a silent theater and Amir going, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Awkward! <laughs> Yay! That yeah, the, the fear. One, just one second, because so the fear for me is that you. So you start. You stopped doing if I were you. Sure. Right. Yeah. And so, can we agree on that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fact. It's yes. not like something we have to agree on. And it's a factoid. It's not like such a big deal that it's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> um, you stopped doing that show, uh-huh. and I feel like there's this like itch that's not being scratched for your ass. In terms of performing, in terms of being in the limelight. So you think me going, whoa, during a circus <laughs> is me trying to, like, reclaim my glory years of being a podcaster? I think you're trying to, yeah, center yourself where there is no narrative for you there. <laughs> and Jeff, say, you're saying, stop with the cameo. So imagine, like, I'm, Jeff yeah. at, like, a blackjack table saying this stuff <laughs> To a dealer. Like, it wouldn't make sense. You know what I mean? Escort it out. Yeah, exactly. They're calling the pit boss. This is worse than card counting. Yeah? Who's there? No. Oh, that's you're asking to hit. Is that knocking on wood? No, that's me saying hit me. Have you been to any casino ever? (laughs) Yes, I went to the talking stick thing with you last year. Oh, yeah, that's Scottsdale. Guess how much money I lost. You lost a few hundred dollars pretty fast. I lost $200 within 10 minutes. Yeah. Playing what? I, cards, fucking oh. blackjack, I think, and then there was yeah. But isn't that like the easiest game though? Blackjack? Yeah, it's the easiest game, but he still <laughs> quite couldn't figure it out. And then, do you want to tell the story of how I almost got my legs broken? Did you? Were you there? No. Remember, I like so, I like barely graced the table with the chip oh, yeah. to increase a bid or oh, not a bid. Oh yeah, yeah, a bet. A bet, and I remember. Yeah, the fucking dealer's like, whoa, like you can't. He and touched like, his chips what? mid-bet. It's like mm-hmm. you're not supposed to touch that. It looked like you were like taking some chips off. I was like, sorry, yeah, off. I've never been to a casino. And yeah. he's like, no, I have to take call my manager. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm like, but it was I've like already a $15 lost. Dollar bet. Yeah. Okay, if I win this, the casino still wins. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I still lost $150. So I didn't know that it people took, especially in fucking, what is it, Scottsdale? Yeah. I don't know. So I almost got my legs broken, um, 21 style. We should, mm. Alex, what, do you, what are your thoughts on Vegas? You know, I went to Vegas for this job for a conference just a few months ago. Hmm. That not feels like the time. worst way to do Vegas. Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting inside like a sea level resort. Yeah, really <laughs> conference high hall. air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. And Fluorescent lights, the smell of smoke everywhere. That's the first time you've ever been? No. No, no, no. But um, it's not my favorite place. Yeah. Where is your favorite place? Punta Cana? <laughs> Sorry, why is that funny? (laughs) (laughs) What a bad thing to say during a conversation. (laughs) You're never in a good place when you have to ask that. Um, What's your favorite place? Turkey. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite food? Turkish food. (laughs) Turkey-ish food. Like chicken? No, like kebab and stuff. Yeah. 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 Favorite Turkish restaurant? You don't have to answer that. Oh, I'm I curious. Won't. I don't want to divulge my secrets. Wow, because then there will be a line <laughs> out the, the door. the spot, you know? <laughs> it's like when that bagel place got really famous in Highland Park. Mm. <sighs> Local references. People hate when this happens. <laughs> uh, Grace, cut that out. Um, Alex, you recently started a vintage furniture oh refurbishing <laughs> company. Wow. Wow. Wow? Or let's hear her out. No, I'm let's that's hear exciting. her out. That's good exposure. <laughs> I did. Do you want to plug it? Yeah. Um, it's called Old Souls yeah. LA. 
Um, and I am sourcing cool vintage furniture and home decor, and I'm selling it online, and it's fun. We, I actually do have a. If you ever, if do you, have, if are there any couches? I need. You didn't a have new- a question. You wanted to ask a question, <laughs> and you figured it out as you said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I was trying to say I need a new couch so bad, and so if you ever have, if, I'm, I follow your account, but oh, yeah, me too, I a loyal it. follower. I'm on the hunt for a new couch so bad. I hate mine. I can't say it enough. I hate it. I got you. <laughs> it makes me mad when I go home. Oh my God. I actually feel the same way about my couch right now. Yeah. I talk about it every day to my boyfriend and he's probably fed up with me. But yeah. you know what? Like there's no structure to the back of your couch. It just hurts your back and you're to just sit on laying it. Off. Like you're yeah. like this against the like You're planking, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a reverse plank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like looking at the TV. Oh. <laughs> how, how does that work? Where you where you own basically a furniture company, but your furniture that you own is not cutting it. Well, you know, I ordered a new couch like six months ago. Yeah, Restoration Hardware or Cardiel. Dane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! He also sells I furniture. Didn't know <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I've never heard of that brand, but it sounds great. Yeah, they have like mid-century modern stuff, but Absolutely. they've pushed it back essentially till October now. So yeah. that's I'm on the hunt next again. Mid-century. See, that's a joke. Not like you're weird at. Oh, sorry, I can't hear. <laughs> What's that? Are you playing a he song? He made the sound effect. I Got did. It. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So at Old Souls LA. At Old Souls dot LA. Dot LA. Yeah. And is it local pickup only? De- local delivery Mostly, only? Mostly, yeah. Unless yeah. it's like something really small. Like maybe a I'll put in the buffet. effort. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Help is it, me. Is it you purchasing stuff that you see from like flea markets and stores and, and then yeah, is it, so it, is it from your house? Sourcing from places like, like the Rose Bowl flea. And you didn't garage have to clarify. Yeah. I think I said it pretty <laughs> simply. I was um, just wondering. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, just yeah so that. not as much flea markets because I feel like that stuff's already like priced accordingly. Accordingly. Yeah. Um, a lot estate sales. That's cool. So I'm hitting the estate. Did you go to that one circuit? in Bel Air the other day? No. Did you? I was going to. I didn't wake up in time. Don't oh, look no. at me when you talk. When you say estate sales, is it like people that just passed away? Sometimes, yes. Whoa. Sometimes they're just trying to get rid of a bunch of shit. Sometimes they're someone's moving and they're like liquidating all their stuff or I don't know. What's the best deal you've gotten at an estate sale? I got a $50 desk. For $9. (laughs) (laughs) No, I paid $50. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you can sell it for much more than that. Much more, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. Let's let's facilitate some deals right now. So, Ali, you need a sofa. I can't even tell you how much I hate my couch. Yes. What's wrong with your couch? I hate it. It's bad. It's <laughs> dirty. It's uncomfortable. Old. It's it, I think I I I bought it from Facebook Marketplace. I think it I bought it new, but it's so cheap from mm. Amazon oh. and I didn't realize that until after it was already in my house. Like I didn't like I didn't do a quality. The cushions and the couch check. are made out of the same material. Yes. They're attached. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. one lump sum. It is one, one thing. One lump sum. <laughs> one lump sum. What's that? Allie hates her couch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hot cross buns parody. Whew. Got it. I didn't mean to get so heated. I didn't, you know what? I don't talk about this outside of my apartment at night. So it's like, I didn't realize how much it's permeating my mood during the day. But right. it's like... It's hard to get away. You can't escape it. No. It's always top of mind. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Please. If your couch was a real life person, who would it be? Oh, and like- why? Let's add in why. Please not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, if it's me. It would be like... You know, okay, you know, it, it is a, it is a C, it's also, it's not the right shade of green, but it's green, so I would say it's, like, the most annoying. Like Tucker Carlson or something. Yeah, but, like, there, have you, have you heard the, have you heard the thing that it's, like, 
like green couches are sp- like supposed to be bisexual. It's no. the it would my, have you I ever heard a that? green couch? Am I bisexual now? <laughs> you must it's be. Like, oh, there was shit. a thing that was <laughs> going on online where it was like all of these people being like, if you have a green velvet couch, that means you're bisexual. Which my couch is in green or velvet, and I'm not bisexual. <laughs> but so I was, what are you worried yeah. about? <laughs> I'm saying that my couch would be the most annoying, try hard out there that also happens to be bisexual. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and it's, it, it's, I can't complain about it enough. So Erica, ask me what color my couch is. What color is your couch? Green. Oh. Ask me what material it's made out of. Can I guess? Yeah. Velvet? Correct. I mean, okay. it, that's, that's what it means. I've been limiting my options sexually. <laughs> is that true? You have a green velvet couch? Why are you so curious all of a sudden? <laughs> Just that's, making conversation. That's how Emrata came out as bi. With the green with the velvet couch? couch? Is that true? Yeah. yeah. She used to be my neighbor. Really? What? Yeah, and then we both moved. Wait, same week. She came out as bi? Because of her green when? couch. On TikTok. Did she oh. come out or did she just have a green couch? I thought well, she came out on it's top. A, it's a wink and a nod a saying part. this is what that this. means. Mm, right. And then who did she French? Pete Davidson, I think. Harry Styles. No. Yeah, it ended up being Harry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who's a, Yeah. So that's not really proving anything because she was married to a man, got divorced, sold the house. I moved as well. Same week. Did I mention that? Yep. Yep. And uh, we do have to take a break. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, I'm in a coffee shop in Madison, Indiana, uh, and I'm going to attempt to do this ad read. Uh, It's easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you, right? And it's hard to take a moment to think about what you need from yourself. Uh, I often get caught up with my weekly schedule, right? What I have to get done, who I have to sort of appease, who I have to please. And I don't check in with myself to be like, what do I need? Is that rest? Is that relaxation? Is that connecting with friends and family, etc.? But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched thin and burnt out, right? And that's where therapy comes in because therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. I'm in therapy every week. Again, I talk about it every week. Uh, Changed my life, right? Made me a different version of myself, maybe a better version of myself. And I would encourage you to do the same, uh, especially because BetterHelp offers expanded access. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash what's that today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash what's that. Thanks, BetterHelp. And we're already back. Did you see how fast that was? Oh, my headphones work again. We're already back. See, oh, forget it. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Erica, how'd you meet your best friend? My best friend? Yeah. Mm, my best friend I met in high school, mm-hmm. but I feel like I have multiple best friends. If that makes sense. I get that. Yeah. It's a tier. Like my so best friend one, group, first and last. my best friend group from LA, like I met them in high school. Yeah. But I have like best friends from like preschool. Like I have different friends oh, in Vegas. Of friends. But like, I have three. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no, two. There's not a lot, but it's just like there's different groups and I consider them all like. Are they my all good part friend. of the Vegas crew? No, I have my Vegas friends. Separate. And honestly, if my friends watch this, but my Vegas friends are my best friends. <gasps> <gasps> I love watch them this. a lot. No, no I mean. I, no, they're not going to watch. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> For the life of me, I'm not going to watch. Um, who? But uh, okay, so let's let's just start some shit. <laughs> um, what's funny, right? <laughs> like this is actually kind of a serious episode so far. Trying You're to get right. to know Erica. I've never not met her. Really. Not really, no. We talked about Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Yes. That's not serious. We talked about Alex's actual business, by the way. Literally a circus. <laughs> I'm not running a circus. No, not you. I'm saying <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. I think I'm sort of like a P.T. Barnum kind of guy. Right. Right. Yeah, like an a agent hollow of chaos. vessel. Jeff, like an agent of chaos. you can't come out pro-circus. I'm not. <laughs> I'm That's really not, messed I... up. And I'm sorry for laughing earlier. That's kind of fucked up. Um, of your Vegas group closest friends 
you should say. I should take that back really oh. quick. No, <laughs> I mean like to go out with yeah. and like no drama, no issues. Like they're like the best people. You know, I feel like the people I go out with are the ones that always have drama. But I feel like your best friends that you've known the longest, there's always going to be drama. That's true. Like there's always like some built up anger or something between everybody. Yeah. How big is the Vegas crew? Sorry, it's you only don't have like, to answer that. I'm curious. How big is, how many people though? In <laughs> Vegas? Okay. So in LA, like our yeah. group is like, I guess like 40? six girls. Six. Oh, no, so six 40. girls from LA <laughs> going to Vegas. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> too many friends. Yeah. Every time I go to yeah. 4100, I feel like everyone my, is my friend. No, that's not true. Uh, six girls from LA that all live in LA go to Vegas. That's the no, biggest group. No, no. That's like my high school friends. We I were see. all on cheer together. Like we were, we were like the group, yeah. you know. But the Vegas crew. The Vegas crew is just like fun. Like there's yeah. no. Are they from LA too? No, they're actually. Two of them are from Vegas. One's from Canada, but moved to Vegas. Where in so Canada? three of them live Canada. in Vegas. Toronto. Sorry. Yeah. Well, four. In my Vegas crew, it's like four of us. But then like there's just like other people that you still hang out with from yeah. college that and are your boyfriend's not your best friend. He is my best friend. <laughs> so how did you meet him? He Sorry, is coming in. But I will say, so here's the thing. My boyfriend's from Vegas. Uh, yeah. So he has a lot. He lives here now, but he has a lot of like friends in Vegas yeah. that have other friends that we all kind of like all became a group the crew sort of the network grows from there right it's like so, yeah it's like a phone tree because yeah. it's like you become his friend and then his friends become your friends and then they all become friends with each other right it's sort of like a, it Again, grows you, from there it's a network for five minutes in vegas you would not survive <laughs> just your energy is so anti-fun what do you mean there's no way that you would ever like step foot at another casino and have a good time the last time alex was in this room for this show we were concocting dairy yeah, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to, like, see you in Vegas just to, like, test it yeah, out. Yeah, because it's such, like, a weird fish like, in did we water. Grow you no, in, it's yeah. like a fish in water. <laughs> just yeah. different waters. But Should you we... have to wear what you're wearing now, but, like... You wouldn't get of... into a club. You would not get into a club <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. You would not get into a club. You're wearing a golf polo. By the way, the same <laughs> shirt you wore last night on the live. Sure. Shirt? <laughs> 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 Take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Did we just take a break? <laughs> guys, here I am still in this coffee shop in Madison, Indiana. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about AG1 by Athletic Greens, all right? Because our next partner is Athletic Greens, and I take AG1 by Athletic Greens every day. I am traveling right now. I've been out of LA for two weeks and I have been using their travel packs by AG1 to make sure that I'm having that consistent nutritional insurance every morning. Again, I take AG1 in the morning every day. I do a glass of water, I do AG1, and then I do cold brew. I'm soaring, right? Because I feel like I'm doing one thing for my health every day. The rest of the day, I might not work out, I might not eat well, but I know that I'm getting all of the vitamins, minerals, and nutritional whole food source superfoods that I need to get my day started right, to have good energy, and to have good sleep and recovery. Uh, it's hard for me to keep up with a supplement routine. I used to take a bunch of vitamins, uh, different individual pills from different companies. There's no need for that anymore because with AG1, I get over 75 vitamins, minerals, and again, whole food sourced ingredients of the highest quality of the highest caliber of the highest calendar that give me major benefits like gut and mood support, boosted energy, and even healthier looking skin, hair, and nails, right? So if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase, which again, I am using currently go to athleticgreens.com slash what's that that's athleticgreens.com slash what's that check it out thanks athletic greens i think i would last a day in vegas and then i'd have to come back sure sure you did almost get your legs broken at the talking stick so i don't feel like <laughs> you couldn't handle scottsdale <laughs> and you want to go to vegas and you want to be on the strip um no vegas has never been my bag and i've never been there but i don't think i would enjoy it I think what we should do yeah. is we all join Erica on her trip there tonight. There's yeah. no way she wants that. We No, you guys could come. Tack fun. on. We kind of test this out <laughs> and <Right>. like see <laughs> how it goes. Let me like show you around tack Vegas. On is the tacky. drive, the drive is the most fun part, right? Like right. the excitement the drive of arriving through the desert. We can have like hijinks on the road. Exactly. <laughs> road hijinks, basically. Where do you stop island, along yeah, the way? In and out? I'd rather be at Narragans. No, you have to stop Barstow. In, Barstow in Barstow and then, and then maybe watch some few videos from Barstool in Barstow. No, not, no, that, not at that at all. Yeah. Because Dave Portno. You know what's in Baker? 
world's largest thermometer. I was going to say that. And again, and you gonna... would know that because you don't belong anywhere near there. When? How many times have you been to Vegas? Uh, dozens. Really? Yeah, literally. Well, you dozens. like gambling. Yeah, I grew up yeah. in LA, very close by. Been twenty one for at least nineteen years. You got to assume I'm there a few times a year. All right. Yeah. Few times a year. A few. Do you fly? <sighs> Sometimes I fly. Sometimes mm-hmm. I drive. I flying's like easy. Yeah. It's like forty five minutes, but driving is the fun driving. part. If driving, you're going with friends, fun. like but yeah. driving back is so bad. No, it's so bad. Mm, it is really bad. It almost undoes the fun of Vegas. Yeah, you cannot leave Sunday at like nine a.m. Yeah, it You'll takes be you like twelve hours. To twelve come hours. Big bear. Crazy. Huh? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I said I've been to Big Bear. Right. You know, How I've never that? been to Big Bear. Oh, you guys should do a little. Retreat swap <laughs> where yeah. I go to Vegas and you go to Big Bear. Yeah, we can like FaceTime and <laughs> that like... probably like do you like going to like a cabin and yeah, I've gone to Mammoth, okay. but I've never done Big Bear. So you're just like socially liquid. You're just like you <laughs> have the capital. What is that? I think like, I'm gonna be sick. I don't know if it's the uh, <laughs> food I just had or what you just said, but that I really feel nauseous right now. What's the problem? Did you eat too fast? No, I, d- I was sort of eating at a normal amount, but then you said socially liquid, and I feel like food poisoning or something. <laughs> I feel like what you said was the norovirus and it's a, it's affecting me. The norovirus? <laughs> I think so. Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck. Socially liquid, was it? <laughs> yeah, can, can you, you elaborate you define on that? that? Like, you have the capital. You have the social capital to do, and the wherewithal, mind you, to be in Vegas, but also in a cabin with just, like, Oh, yeah. People. Like, I'm very well first. I can only do the latter. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you there. I don't yeah. think I'm Vegas. I yeah. feel like I've m- driven that point home pretty clear, though. Yeah, because you said that you get worried at <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> okay, I need to take you all to Vegas. We're going to change I would love to go to Vegas. Vegas. I want to go once, but I figure... It's a fun place to be. I feel like I'm going to end up there for, like, bachelor parties, so I find mm. not going by choice. And you only go for, like, a weekend. It's not That's e- too much. No, you get there Friday, party, party yeah. Saturday, leave Sunday. I can't party two nights in a row anymore. I'm only 25. You're only 25? Yeah. You could party. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I can party two nights in a row. You can't. You, you can't even do one night. When we went to New York for the Gramercy shows, you didn't go out afterwards. Everyone else did. <laughs> yeah, you did leave Austin one night, didn't you? What did he do on the retreat this year? Did he go out? Did no, you left drunk? early one night. Exactly. Not really early, but I thought it was after midnight. We, watched, we sat next to each other and watched a pool game for a little. Oh, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So we <laughs> watched it, billiards. One second, was it fun for Allie? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Because we were sort of Just blink twice if he paid you off to no, say that. there's yeah, no I'm way. Curious. That looked like three. Time. My fear with you is like, I don't want you to get too rich because you're going to become weird. <laughs> what? Like, you know how some people can handle wealth? You don't mm-hmm. think he can take it? Not at all. I feel like you're going to you're gonna be like spending $300 on a hoodie because uh-huh. you're not going to change your style. Okay. And then, Okay, like, are you with me okay, or are you skeptical? I mean, that sounds like a nice hoodie, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you're going to, like, pay people off. You know what I mean? I wouldn't do that. No, you would. You would be like, don't come to this thing tonight, because I don't want to feel anxious. Here's $1,000. Here's a rack. <laughs> you can pay I'm... me not to show up. <laughs> <laughs> How about tonight? No, I'd come happy I don't want to pay anybody not to show up. That's crazy. What's the, what's the sandwich picture that you put up behind you? Oh, yeah. So that's going to be, you can't really see it, but you can see on any sandwich here. But it says Dutch, it says Dutch crunch bread uh, from Togo's. Also to the tune of hot cross buns. Dutch crunch bread <laughs> on any sandwich. Um, Erica, what's your impression of the show so far? Honestly? Yes. It's okay. No, I'm kidding. It's good. You haven't, like, caught a vibe? I mean, I think... <laughs> <laughs> caught a vibe. Can I be honest? Yeah. I feel like within, like, headgum... Yeah. Like, there's always an awkward silence. Like, someone talks, mm-hmm. and then it's, like, quiet. Yep. Yeah, so the thing that... People, everybody comments this every week. They're like, I thought I'd paused the podcast, <laughs> but it was just something that happened yeah. in the source audience. But Erica means even Don't at the company. Not I know like I always am pushing, like, podcast. overlapping dialogue, but, yeah. like, there's a difference between, like, long silences and then, like, talking over each other. I feel like you're overcorrecting. I feel like you're making sure exactly that there's right. no, no silence there's no whatsoever. Silence at all. But normal conversations do have, like, a little bit of a beat between when I talk and when you do. Right. Right. So that's <laughs> <laughs> Should we um, see how long we can go on the silence? Oh, that could be good. <laughs> What's the uh, longest silence on the podcast? What's that? What's that? Let's bit? get a numbers crunch on that. I'm sure somebody will 
We'll have enough. Sage make a compilation video. Should we do video. a minute right now? See what it feels like? Sage does already too much work. Let's let's do one minute, 60 seconds of silence. Can you do that? I love can you her. Put up a, can you put up a timer? Uh, to see how long we can manage? No, I'm saying can, we should do a 60 seconds of silence right now. All right. Amir wants um, a 60 second nap. A moment of silence? <laughs> Starting now. How long has it been? Not even 30 seconds. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, <laughs> that was awkward. That's hard. <laughs> Didn't we make it halfway? There's a lot of eye contact, though. Oh, I was just sort of staring off into space. Yeah. Alex, when was the last time you won an award? An award? Yeah. <laughs> I think in, like, fourth grade, <laughs> I did an academic pentathlon. What's what a pentathlon? Yeah. It's like... Math, science, Yeah, history. you compete with a team of your peers in like a bunch of answer questions in a bunch of different genres. <laughs> Maybe it was like fourth grade or something. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I, yeah. I don't think we did, did that you good. Go to, you went to UCSB. Yeah. Oh, I have a funny story about that though. Uh, okay. About the pentathlon. My family always reminds me that I was on stage <laughs> and it, I had to answer a question. <laughs> And the question was, like, how can animals, something about how animals can sense, uh, like, natural disasters or something. And it was multiple choice, and I put ESP because I didn't know what ESP stood for. But basically, yeah, it was just that they can, like, read minds. <laughs> and I know what ESP stands for, but yeah. just for Allie's sake. What is that? <laughs> Yeah, what is it for my sake? <laughs> I don't know what the acronym actually means, I, so I still could not answer the question. <laughs> well, one of the choices was mind reading, and you chose that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's as good a, a guess as I think. I hear something. You're uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Nope. What was that? Oh, my stuff? laptop. That's funny, though. Story. That's yeah. a good answer. What was the real answer? Like, I still don't know how. I have no idea, actually. Now that I think about it, that's like not really a fourth grade level question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah none of us know the answer to that. Um, Allie. Yeah. Do you pray? No. Got it. Amir, what was the best birthday of your life? Just because you have the most to choose from. I guess when I turned 30, I did go to Vegas and I thought it was very fun. A bunch of my friends went. You thought it was very fun or you experienced a lot of joy? Both. Okay. Did you have any regrets about that trip? Nope. Did you leave anything in Vegas? Did it stay? Did I what? Because they say, what, what do they say, Erica? They like, what happens in Vegas is always Stays there. in Vegas. Stays in Vegas. Did anything stay in Vegas? Did you lose your wallet? His dignity. No, my dignity and my wallet. Well, I lost a little bit of my dignity, but my wallet was completely in tow. Yeah. And what put an end to your last relationship? <laughs> For me? Of course sticking with you <laughs> well i mean that vegas trip was probably uh the beginning of the end in terms of having the relationship fall apart <laughs> but for what reasons is it that you were there with just your buddies and you were like oh my god i think it was a case of like meeting Sorry, somebody I, at age 25 and then by 30 you're a different person really wasn't done. what's that <laughs> it actually really wasn't done i, I can't quite hear question. you the question was yeah is it that you were there without sans her no she was there can I finish the question? Sure. Is it that you were there? Mm -hmm. Sans her. Right. And you realized, oh my God, like life is, a f it feels a little lighter. She was there. <laughs> I still so didn't. So it's the, quite if it's finish. an either or, it's the other one. I really <laughs> didn't finish. Yeah. Because you keep jumping my line. Okay. Is it that you were in Vegas, mm -hmm. sans her, <laughs> and you were kind of with your buddies and realizing that life felt a little bit better without her? That you were more yourself and that you couldn't really be yourself around her. Sure, yes. I That's wasn't what it quite was. finished. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the end. Uh, so what was the or? What actually happened? Um, a case of drifting apart. Sure. Yeah. Because you were moving to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And she was staying in New York. Correct. And 
Did she, yeah. Did she take it well? Was she? <laughs> See, obviously not. We broke up. Yeah, but there can be a mutual parting of ways. Maybe she also was thinking. Yeah, I mean, it stuff. wasn't animus, but it also wasn't like, you know, a happy-go-lucky time in my life. Yeah. Erica, do you pray? No, I'm Jewish. And then, I mean, in terms of, <laughs> was that the, the beginning of the end or the, that was the end? Well, Jewish people can pray. Oh, uh, you're right. But the way he asked it. Yeah, it made it seem like, do you Christian pray? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, where is she now? Uh, I'm not sure. And this, this is not a <laughs> <laughs> No. Take a break. Be right back. <laughs> Do we actually go to break every time you throw to break? Yeah. So, like, there's a commercial there? Yeah. God. <laughs> not really an ad most of the time. Yeah, but, sometimes yeah. just a pause. It's I guess not it's selling very thinking. well. It's manifesting what I want yeah. to be true, which is that this show would have what four ads per episode. Sure. Yeah. Do you guys have any involvement in the the selling of the Headgum show? I don't think anyone sells it anymore. Yeah. We're kind of riding the coattails of AG One. Yeah. My involvement is I schedule it. Oh, interesting. So. so do you ever see like someone who wants to schedule an ad for this show and you cancel it? You divert it to Hollywood Handbook. No, I don't do that. <laughs> it's already like booked and then i just do the ending for it yeah you know Allie, let me ask you this what is something you truly like about yourself hmm. oh wow yeah uh, <laughs> um look at the sandwich behind you while you ask these questions <laughs> yeah. it makes no Crunch, sense bread yeah <laughs> i like uh i think i think i am a good friend i that's like true. that that's about nice. myself yeah that's good and when was the last time you cried Oh, um, like yesterday. Why? I got, I, <laughs> yeah, I got stressed out. Um, it, I, I've been, ha I've been having, uh, insomnia. Alex <laughs> knows about this. I, it's not funny. It's just the honesty. <laughs> no, it's just the honesty. I've been having horrible insomnia. And for some reason I have found that like m if I watch a sad movie and I cry and I have like an emotional release of crying, then I am able to sleep better. Mm. So it's been kind of a journey of like watching really sad stuff to try to go to sleep. And it's like a weird cycle that now I'm in. Yeah. That's still happening. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you told me about this so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so sorry. Uh, also, can I just give one note to Amir there? Because I was just, I was live editing. <laughs> Perfectly fine question. No, the, the question was great, but before that, like Ali and Alex were having a moment. They were like connecting. Even Erica was smiling. You looked like you'd just seen an animal die. Uh -oh. So like have some so. empathy and just, yeah, action. Yeah. Well, speaking of animals dying, it's, it's moment. yeah, it's like, like banshees of ancient, like, and spoiler the donkey yeah that's so like that i like had a hard time with that you know i'm so yeah. attached to chicken it's like anything like that i just i lock onto it and then i cry and then i you know try to get a solid five i try to get a solid not enough sleep <laughs> <laughs> i have a good wreck for you what the really depressing scene in dumbo where the mom is like singing to Dumbo. Yeah. And That's are a you a surefire crier? Are you thinking OG cartoon or are you thinking that weird Tim Burton no, remake? No, no, no. OG cartoon. <laughs> I didn't even see the remake, so it's, I can't. Dude, that is really sad. <laughs> yeah. Eric, can I ask when you do something positive or like helpful to others, mm -hmm. do you prefer like private recognition or public praise? <laughs> 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 this answer might get me in trouble. No. Um, so public record. <laughs> maybe. It yeah. No, I mean, like, it depends if you're, like, I'm doing something for my family or close friends. Like, I don't need any public. But I mean, like, I don't know. Like, you being on this podcast, you want everyone at the company to send you an email being, like, good on you. Yeah. Yeah. And it might come from Anya. <laughs> <laughs> I want all the recognition for being here. Um, speaking of recognition, where do you find inspiration? <laughs> What are I these can't. questions from? I wrote down a bunch of interesting questions. Do you pray and where do you find inspiration? <laughs> it's like the 40 questions you ask to fall in love with somebody or thing. No. Jeff, are you going to see Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret? <laughs> well, you were saying God friended you. Mm -hmm. yeah. What? Did you ever accept? Last week, yeah. Uh, are, I might see that movie. 
that special. Just thing. speaking of praying and God. Jeff doesn't strike me as someone that goes to the theaters. Like I can't live see show? you it's there. A movie. Like I can't see you at a movie theater. Is that true? Like when was the last time you actually like went to a movie theater? Bought like a, a ticket and like ate popcorn while watching a film. It just doesn't. That's feel true. Like, I can't picture what? it. Yeah, I, I just can't see Tuesday. it. What did you see? Yeah, like I saw what movie could you possibly have Rise. enjoyed? What was it? Evil Dead Rise. Did you like it? Like no, I can't was... imagine you liking a movie. <laughs> Why? Did, so wh- okay. <laughs> Name two things you could imagine me doing. Because you've said <laughs> I can't be in Vegas. You've said I can't be in a movie theater enjoying right. a film. Right. What are I, the things that you think I do enjoy? It? I could imagine you at a bowling alley alone. Oh, <laughs> oh <man. laughs> shit. Like Highland Park Under my or breath. something yeah. less cool. Yeah, and, and you like just spring. see him and he has his own lane and yeah. you're just kind of like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Corbin practicing. Bowl and Tarzana. Like is he really Marilou good or is he bad? <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's practicing. <laughs> okay, oh my so he's God. not he's If really I do good. get invited he's to a bowling He's getting there. He's bad, but he's like trying to learn how to do the spin trick. Enough! You know, you guys <laughs> center me in this narrative that fits your guys' asses just because you guys are anxious to sit next to each other because you guys all don't know each other very well, right? So you have to, like, gang up on me because you're facing towards me because that's the only thing that you guys can, like, oh, like, you know, when Republicans and Democrats can come together when there's a war, right? It's not like I'm saying you're a gutters-up guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He gets the rails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is a rail. <laughs> This would be perfect if I had a rice song. Oh, <laughs> Just go straight into it. I love the rice song. Um, here we go. Uh, that was actually the end of my question. <laughs> go out with a bang. Um, I have therapy in three minutes. Seems like good timing. Hmm. Oh, what, wow. Where are you do you want to start it? now? I might do it in the <laughs> studio. I might record. <laughs> we should live stream it. I think we should, yeah. It should be batch recording. We can do another episode. It's mm. me and Lillian. Had a dream about her last night, too. Oh. Yeah. Like a sexy dream or just a regular dream? <laughs> I, this is the first time anyone's ever asked me a question I don't want to answer. So. Um, uh, well, yeah, let's finish out with that. Alex, dream therapy? I went last night, yeah. I also cried last night. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Because why? It's therapy, you know? Definitely. You're supposed to cry. Really? Therapeutic. It's therapeutic to cry. I'll give it a shot. Uh, <laughs> Erica, what do you got? Therapy or no therapy? I do not go to therapy. Allie? I don't, but someone told me I should Allie. yesterday. <laughs> uh, I used to, but I don't anymore. Because you were fixed? Uh, no, because the pandemic sort of ended our in-person sessions, and then it was a natural dissolution of the relationship. Do you feel better? No, not really. <laughs> Maybe you should go back. I should. Yeah. She was kind of mad at me. Why? For I ending? It was. It felt combative at the end mm. because you were, she wasn't making any breakthroughs. <laughs> <laughs> she thought my guards were up. They are, <laughs> in a way. Um, at Jeffrey James on Instagram, at Jeff Boyardi on Twitter, and at I am Jeffrey James on TikTok. I've been posting some really shitty ones recently there, but I might uh, up my game as it were. Uh, let's go in a weird order. Let's go, Erica, Amir, Ali, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Plugs, what do you got? Um, Social media, projects? No. Just my Instagram, maybe. Erica, ah. Erica Jensen. Great. Easy. Amir? Oldsouls.la. <laughs> you stole mine. Oh, that's yours? <laughs> Shit. Uh, but yeah, sure. Amir. Yeah. <laughs> that, you have that handle on Blue Sky. Yeah. <laughs> you guys on Blue Sky? No, what, no, Blue what Sky? is Blue It's like Sky? Twitter without Elon Musk is the selling mm. point. Oh. But you have to be invited. But with Jack Dorsey. Again. Yeah. He just started <laughs> oh. a new Twitter. <laughs> That's um, so funny. Alex? At Amir. That's it. That's it. Dot old soul. <laughs> dot old soul. It's a picture of me as We're a chair. We're switching accounts, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Allie? Uh, at Allie Khan on Twitter and Instagram and Letterboxd. And listen to Chaotic. New mm-hmm. episodes every Ooh. Wednesday. We got them. Our podcast with Muna. And I also just wanted to say thank you for everyone who's donated to the sandwich fund um, after the last podcast recording to my Venmo. It was really nice of you. And I see you and I appreciate it. What is your Venmo? At Allie-Con. How many did you get? I'm, I'm making money. What? Wow. Are you using it <laughs> Wait, on sandwich? can you give us the story? <laughs> I don't know about the sandwich yeah, fund. Yeah, explain. Um, like as a joke, I like a 
just a couple podcasts ago, I just plugged my Venmo because uh, Amir said I could. And then <laughs> covering all your legal bases, too. Yeah. And then I started getting like I started getting money. Really? Well, How much have you gotten? Well, I don't want to tell it. I so over, it's a lot. I, it's it's like couch a money. Dollars. Are you kidding? It's well, couch it's, money. It's a uh, well, couch I, money. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good couch money. It's well, it's it's enough to get lunch. A That's nice long. Okay, so $40. Mine? Well, I, w- I would say that after the first one, it was just a sandwich for me, but now I think I could cover uh, three of us. Wow. Three so sandwiches. $60. Worth. It's roughly $60. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. Um, Wait, what is, did you do your Venmo again? What is it? At Ali Dash Con. Let's get her a couch. <laughs> Let's get <laughs> yeah, her a couch. Yeah, please give me a new couch. I'm miserable. <laughs> Let's get her a couch and ha. <laughs> We're going to sit on a couch. <laughs> oh. A couch. Um, that's it. That was a HeadGum Original.